Hi, this is Noah Eisner, and happy 2007 to everyone. We're going to go through another one of our Coupa video blog series. Today's topic is quick order entry. What is quick order entry? What we've heard time and time again is that there's a subset of users at every company that want the fastest way to put in a request for what they need. Um, it may be something that, that exists in, in the local catalog, but oftentimes it's for kind of a one-off item, a one-off purchase that they need something for and they got to issue a PO to a vendor. Um, and that's why we've created this quick order entry. Um, and with it, there's no need to search. All you do is type. You can create requisitions from scratch. It's really quick and efficient. Um, it supports both quantity and amount based lines. And as you're doing it, if you've got a new vendor that you'd like to work with, you actually put in the new supplier request as you're putting in the requisition. And through the process, you're collaborating with the buyer to make sure that the requisition has all the information that it needs um, in order to be processed and, uh, and it follows all the rules uh, that the company has laid out. So let's go show you the demo. Um, and of course, as a reminder, you can always do it for yourself by just going to www.coupademo.com and registering for your own uh, uh, enterprise demo. Okay, so I'm logged into the Coupa application as Jack Timmons, um, who's a marketing manager, and he's uh, got an upcoming trade show. Um, and instead of going in and searching here in the, uh, uh, the system, he's just going to click on the shopping cart edit icon, and he's brought into the quick order entry screen. Um, Jack needs a few items. First, he needs uh, an Apple MacBook that he needs uh, as, uh, uh, for the trade show in the booth. So he types in MacBook. Now the system can search the local catalog to see if that item exists, and in fact it does. And this is the one he wants, um, and it brings in the item and the company approved pricing. Needs, um, uh, actually only needs one of those. Um, now there's a couple other things he needs. Um, uh, first, he needs a uh, a couple booth booth signs, two of those, and 240. Um, now he's he's using uh, a local vendor that he's used in the past, and therefore when he types in the supplier name, it finds the supplier that's in the database um, in the supplier uh, database, and he picks them, and he's all set to go on that line. Um, but he's also got to pay for the trade show booth fee. So he's going to type in trade show booth fee. Um, actually, what's what, this is an amount baseline, so there is no um, quantity. He just needs to put in a uh, price of $4,000. Um, and this, the, the vendor that, he, that is running this show is, is called JK Productions. Now, JK Productions doesn't exist in the system. Therefore, the, 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 uh, the system pops up a new supplier request form. Now, because, um, uh, and it's likely that Jack has dealt with them as, as far as figuring out uh, the JK production as far as figuring out what he needs f uh, for the trade show so he probably has the most information about this vendor as, as anyone in the company so he's going to start putting in some of the basics so he's been working with John Terry J Terry at jkp.com um, and they are at 402 Park Place in New York New York and he hits save. Um, and now the supplier is created, but created in draft mode. And, the, and the, the buying company will determine, are they okay with adding um, JK Productions to uh, the vendor master? So when, um, uh, when Jack now clicks checkout, He's got all the information as requisition for, for the uh, MacBook, the booth signs, and the trade show fee. It's got the appropriate approvals um, that are necessary. But what's, what's also important is when he, he, of course, can add any justification or attachments, but when he hits submit for approval, the system knows that it needs to go over to the, uh, the buyer for action. Because in this requisition, he's put in a new supplier request 
um, uh, for an for an item that wasn't familiar with us, uh, that wasn't already existing in the system. So the, the, uh, the, the, like, it's likely that the buying department probably wants to evaluate um, this vendor um, before issuing a PO. And so now the buyer has or would go into his or her rec pool, look over that, uh, decide to activate the supplier or not, uh, get all the information that's necessary on the requisition and get it up and uh, out to the vendor um, w when appropriate. So that's the the um, quick order entry, really easy to way to enter in a requisition, fast and easy in the system.